So we've got uh, we've got a photo of of a dog we can use to talk about the difference between canvas and an image. So if you can if you think about the image uh, how it looks versus the canvas as the the actual width and and height of the image itself. Think about a canvas like your painting. Um, you can choose your colors for painting. You can choose you know, what it is you, you're, you're actually going to paint. Think about Bob Ross painting happy little trees. That's all what goes in the image itself. But the canvas, of course, is something you decide pretty early on. Are you doing an 8 by 10? Are you doing a 5 by 5? That's, that's the difference here. And Photoshop treats it you know, a lot of the same way. So with canvas and image, both options are available up under the image menu. Uh, you just click image. In sort of the middle of that menu, we have both image size and canvas size. So I'll show you both of those, and I'll start with, with just image size. So by clicking that, you get a little preview of the image itself here. On the left, we can zoom in and out of that as we need. So you can really see exactly what changes you're making to your image as you make them. Of course, it's great to know what, what you want to end up with when, you, when, you're, when you're making these changes. You don't always know that. So when in, in all cases, it's best to err on the side of caution if you don't quite know how big the finished product needs to be while you're working on it. Uh, by all means, do this at the end. But uh, if, you, if you do know, if you want to begin there, that's, that's okay too. So we can choose from these uh, options here on the right side. It defaults to uh, the number of pixels, but you can always change that if you know the inches that it's going to be, if it's going to be something in print, for example, or if you're uh, not in the U.S., uh, centimeters, millimeters, you have a lot of options here. You can also do it as a form of percent. So of course the default for percent is 100 because that's the size that you're starting with. And then you can always change that to something smaller. And you can see once I punch in 50%, the preview shrinks down by half. So if I choose OK on that, I've chosen 50% of the original size. You'll see the, the image itself shrinks down. So the, the image goes to 50% of what I specified. If I had chosen pixel or centimeter or inch or anything else, you know, same, same result. So that's the difference between, or that, that's, that's image size. Canvas size though, I've chosen image size to be a very specific set of, of pixels or a percentage. It, if I, going back into the image menu, I chose canvas size which is right underneath image size. If I choose, if I specify a, a, a different size here, let's say I choose, I'm staying on pixels, if I choose a 1500 width and a 1000 height, that will bring the edges of the image down into the image itself. It will basically crop anything, that's, anything that, that exists outside that specific measurement, 1500 width by 1000 height. And I'll click OK, and you can see on the image itself what, um, what, what happens to the image when I choose a smaller canvas size. And it warns me that I'm shrinking down basically. The image itself won't resize to a particular percentage, but it will crop everything beyond the size that I specified. So you can see it's kind of a tighter zoom on the, on the subject itself uh, once that as you can see from what the original was versus what it is now, as opposed to image size where you've shrunk the entire image, canvas size will either crop to or expand beyond the size that you've specified. Let me back up a moment and I'll show you the opposite. So I'm going back to the original size and I'll go back to image, canvas size, and I'll specify a larger canvas this time. I'll say 3000 by 2000. And you can see the, the arrows beneath it are now going outwards rather than inwards. The last time they were pointing to the center, this time they're pointing outwards. This tells me that there's going to be more canvas space around the actual subject of the photograph. So if I click OK, once that shows up for you folks, you'll see there's uh, basically the equivalent of a mat. Like if you're framing a, a, a photo on your wall, you've got space for a mat. And this is something that I had to do. I framed a wedding photo that we wanted to hang in our house. We needed room for the mat, so I created a canvas size that was larger than the photo itself so that when we printed it out at the, at the printer, there was space for that mat that wouldn't just you know, cut into the photo itself. So this is an important consideration when you're adding things to your canvas. Uh, you have a logo or you have a photograph or something. You want to create extra space around something. You can always 
you can always expand the canvas size without having to sacrifice any quality or having to crop or anything like that.